Hi, Ampli fourth graders. I'm here today to help you successfully access and use the Clever website. You can find the Clever website using your internet browser on any laptop, desktop computer, iPad, phone, iPhone, any, you know, any type of tablet, any type of other handheld device that has internet access. So let's walk you through this process. Once you are on the internet, you will open up your internet browser. I prefer to use Google Chrome for this because it has a better access capability for it. You'll go to clever.com and up in the top right hand corner, you will log in as a student. Now at school, we gave you all Clever badges. These badges, you know, are probably still at school, but if, you know, you have it, that's great. If not, no problem. What we have done was we have sent out to you your Clever badge and your Clever login instructions, you know, a while back. If you have not received those, please contact your teacher and ask for them. Now, Clever badges, if you're able to print them off or use, you know, find your phone and put it up to the screen and use it, that's great. But not all of the technology that we have will allow, you know, it to access the, through the Clever badge. But again, your teacher should have sent you your MNPS K-12 email address and a password, and this will be able to log you on to the Clever website. So right here, if you have those available, you will go in to log in with Office 365. Once you're there, it will ask you for you know, a username. Now that is your personal mnpsk12.org email address. I'm gonna use Anthony's for right now. So thank you, Anthony, for allowing me to use that. So I've already kind of put that in at the moment and kind of played around with it earlier, but you will have to type it in yourself. Once you've typed it in more than once, you'll be able to click on it just like I did. Then it will ask you for your password. This password, please take care of this password. It's this email address, you need to learn it, and this password, you need to learn it because you will be using this pretty much through middle school and high school if you're still in an MNPS school. Now, your password, you will basically, very case sensitive, so be very careful putting that in. Once you have in, inputted that, you push sign in. Now, if out of the blue you want to stay signed in and so it will remember you, you can pretty much say yes, that's fine. You know, that because if you know that you're going to be using that, you know, particular tablet or phone or, you know, laptop computer, you can stay signed in. It's no problem. Me personally, because I'm using Anthony, so I'm going to say no. Now I've collaborated with all the fourth grade teachers and we've gone through the Clever website to see what it already had available to you and what we could add on to it. Now you know that you could go in every single day of the week and you do iReady. You've already have your username and password for that. It continues to run just like it did at school. You could do, you know, pretty much your reading on Mondays and Wednesdays, math on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You can pretty much do Monday, Tuesday, math, then you know, Wednesday, Thursday, reading, whatever you wanna do, make your own schedule for that. But iReady pretty much still has the same things that it did when we were in school. Those of you who worked with Ms. Catlin or sometimes worked with Ms. Gideon, you ended up, you did Imagine Learning, well, you still can access that here through the Clever website. It's still just exactly like it was at school, the same way you log on, and it keeps continuing the lessons that you know that you, from what you've already you stopped at at school and continues going. Now, down here, 
it ends up, it says teacher pages. I personally made a teacher page for my students. I know that Miss Gideon, Miss Taylor, and Miss Rogers have been doing the same. And we've all gone in and talked about and collaborated basically about websites and apps that would be great for y'all to use while you're at home during the social distancing time. So you will find your teacher and you will click on them. Inside here, as you can see, I have many, many apps available for my students to use. I have Cool Math because I know that they love to go in and, you know, play with those various math games and everything. Just please try to at least keep it on your level if possible to do that. But if you click on it, it opens it up. It's free, you know, to, for you to use. So you do not have to have a username or password. And as you go through it, going down here, you've got a lot of really fun games that you play. Uh, believe me, I've seen a lot of you play those basketball ones and, and all of those. Now, please be very careful because there are ads on the side. Don't click on those ads. Either they will take you to other web pages and stuff, and it will probably be, just be a big mess in the long run. But feel free to, you know, play cool maths, you know, in the afternoons or maybe even on Fridays when you have extra chances to work. Khan Academy. Khan Academy is a really neat website. My own personal kids use this website to learn skills that go along with math videos and everything. Now, with it, you may have to actually have a parent help you out with this website because, you know, it does ask for a little bit more information. Our school did not use it, you know, completely when we were at Amqui during the school year. So you may have to have your parent help sign you up for that. But again, it's a great website that will help teach you a lot of skills when it comes to math. And it will definitely, believe me, as I said, come in handy with middle school and high school. ReadWorks is a really neat reading website. It's another website that is not free at this time. So you may have to get your parents to help you sign up for it. But this website, what it does is it has a lot of reading passages on there. And then it has a lot of questions that go along with the reading passages. So if your parents want to get on and pull some of those, you know, reading passages off from the different literary, literary elements and stuff, different genres and stuff, they can. And then you can pretty much, you know, brush up on those writing skills that we are constantly asking you, you know, you know to work on. Brain Pop. I know y'all love Brain Pop. You love that Moby. I mean, I love Moby too. I ended up meeting him a long time back when I went to a conference down in Florida. And it ends up that your teacher will have to sign up for a Brain Pop. But I have a, my personal Brain Pop. And if your teacher doesn't have a username and password, you can use mine. It's fine. I put it underneath my username and my password. And when you click on to Brain Pop, you basically have all those same fun skills with Moby. And then it also still has those, you know, things to just help you with everyday life. So you got Brain Pop Junior, Brain Pop ELL, and some game up things. And then you got your full, you know, cast down there to help you out with those videos that y'all know y'all love to watch. Audible. At this time, we know that the Madison Library, the Gillisville Library, is not up and running. They do not want to send out books. They do not want books to come and you know be brought back at this time. It's okay. What I need you to do understand is Audible is a place where you can click on and read books and listen to books online, or you can listen to it on your tablet, your phone, your you know your laptop, whatever you would like to. And you just go in there. They have, give some. You know, Harry Potter apparently is the big thing for right now. So they have it on there. You click on it and say, I wanted to go to the Philosopher's Stone. I can start listening to the story and I can stop it at any time I want to, you know, pause it and pick it up later on. So it's just a great way for, you know, if you don't have a lot of books at home, you can get on and still enjoy books. You can join them with your family. You can join them with, you know, 
with your friends, you know, just, you know, enjoy them on your own. Now also going into elementary, they have a lot of books that they have gone ahead and put on here, which Anna Green Gables is fabulous. But going down, as you can see, a lot of titles that I personally don't even know, but that's okay. Because again, I got to start learning that, you know, what's the books of the time. But you could go in here and discover a lot of the books and even type in a search for books. But that is audible and it's free, easy listening. Fun brain. Y'all know that your brain is pretty fun. And if you go into it, browse by grade level, click on fourth grade. You go down through there and it has a lot of games and things you can end up doing. You could do the fresh baked fractions. You could go down here and you can even listen to books on their website, which is pretty cool. And you know, Judy Moody saves the world. We all love Judy Moody. But as you can see, lots and lots of great things to do on fun, fun Brain from games to reading to videos to math zone and even a playground area. National Geographic for Kids. Boys and girls, we want you learning. We want you learning the science. We want you learning the social studies. We want you learning about things around the world. So if you click on National Geographic for Kids, it's a pretty neat website that's out there. And it basically, you can even learn things from around the world. And you can learn about Europe today, as you can see where I clicked on it. You can have games. You can do videos, which amazing animals are pretty cool, learning about all kinds of animals. And you know, all the different types of things that are there to explore. You can explore weird but true facts, things about Native Americans, kids versus plastic. We know we definitely want to recycle. And, you know, just having a good time going through, the, you know, I like this right here, crazy cars. It's pretty fun. But even how to make some fun things. You know, we're talking about kids versus plastic. Learn how to recycle that plastic and turn them into new things. Because I know if you get into 4-H in middle school or high school, they actually have a, you know, a contest to see who can make up the coolest recycling, you know, activity. Uh, make me a genius. I found this not long ago, so I decided to add it to my Clever portal. And make me a genius basically is the same kind of thing of what you've been seeing. And unfortunately, it doesn't want to load me at the moment. I'm not sure why. But it is, but it is pretty much, it makes me think of fun brain and brain pop a little bit. So I'll go back in and I'll fix that one, you know, to see what's going on there. May, may have just been a little glitch. NASA. We all hear Miss Evie talking about how she worked for NASA a long time ago. And, you know, this is where we get to have our own chance to go onto a really cool website for it. So you could go on and you can learn about topics of humans in space. You could do space tech. You could even, you know, do a flight throughout history. You can learn about the various, you know, missions that went out into space. You could go in and see amazing, amazing videos, and pictures from space. NASA TV kind of keeps you up to date on what's going on right now with NASA. You can follow NASA a bunch of different ways, but just really get on here and check out what is going on, kind of, you know, giving us a chance to escape, you know, Earth for the moment and get out into space. So NASA Kids is a great place to start that. Science Bob. I got to thinking there are times that my uh, son and daughter are always talking about being a little bit bored, not liking the skills that we're doing, they're having to do. So coming up with something fun to do at home. Well, we know that sometimes when you go to middle school and high schools, they sometimes do those science fairs. Well, here's a chance for you to get ahead of that. So they have a lot of really awesome experiments to do. You can explore and do them right now. Things from an egg drop challenge. That could be something that you and your family, you know, do and you read up on it and see who can successfully complete it. Baking ice cream in a plastic bag. I do know that that does work. I have tried it before. I did it a long time ago at the, my old school with the, all the kids and it does successfully work. Just make sure that you really follow the directions very carefully and don't give up on it because it does it's take a little bit of time to do. You can try to build a hovercraft if you have the materials, but again, if you have those materials, 
Don't get out and go buy them. <laughs> There's that eggshell geocrystals. I know Miss Evie has talked to y'all about that at school. And some of you are asking how to do it. Please read up on it carefully. Have a parent and help you with all of these experiments because I do not want to find out that any of you did something and blowing up a kitchen or something. And uh, yeah, it's not our fault. But the cool thing, breaking your own rock candy. Who doesn't love sugar? Yeah. There's that build a fizz inflator, that thing with the, yeah, the Coke, the Diet Coke and the Mentos. Hey, do that out in the yard, not in the house. Um, so going through and seeing a lot of these experiments, I've done this, the color symphony before. It's fun to watch. Uh, how to make your own slime at home. Boys and girls, again, go on. Don't be bored every day playing on the PlayStations and the Xboxes and stuff. Get on and have some fun, you know, doing some of these experiments. Discovery Education. Miss Evie got really excited about this and asked if we could just share this with y'all. She uses this website a lot for her STEM activities. Feel free to go on, check out, you know, this too. Look, you can take a virtual field trip. Right now, they ask for you not to go out and about and do a lot of traveling. Please don't. Um, no, I did, we just want you to stay safe. But you can take a virtual field trip. So it's really amazing to be able to go in and explore a lot of various places around the world just from sitting at home on your couch or on your bed or wherever you want to take the field trip to. You know, from actually, not to. I'm sorry. It's up that um, you could go in and check out the NFL Play 60. I know a bunch of you love, you boys love to play, you know, football. And there's another one for basketball. You can go on and, in and see an all-star, do a virtual field trip. Uh, you could go in and just go in and talk to, let's see, skills necessary to handle stress. Guys, I know y'all are probably having a little hard time with that. Go into this one and check it out. Do a virtual field trip and find your happy place. But, you know, this kind of website is really pretty cool because you could do a lot of just adventuring out. Now, you could learn coding, which is, I know a lot of you, if you're going to go into some fields later on and after high school into college and things like that, you might want to check out some of that. But Miss Evie, she used the STEMS Connect, and she also uses, you know, that to show you how the videos of, you know, waste not, want not, want, uh, what not, sorry. <laughs> um, all these videos here, you can check out things that are going on around the world for that. I know that she uses her tech book, her actual, you know, the science tech book. And I know that right here with that, you will need to change to fourth grade at the very top. And once you change there, these are all the concepts that Miss Evie did in STEM class. You did unit one, energy. You did waves. You, you know, ecosystems, plant survival, changing earth, earth's resources, and day and night. If you don't remember doing some of those with Miss Evie, here's your chance to go back through them and also get caught up. Because I know that she wants to have some um, Zoom meetings with y'all very soon. So she's probably going to be asking you about if any of you have got on this website. So hint, hint. This is the discovery education part. The little app on your Clever website. And then again, you go to the area that talks about the grade four STEM stuff. The STEM textbook. I excel. Um, I personally have not signed up for Axel as a teacher because it costs a lot of money. But it, you know, if any of y'all want to donate money for us to sign up, that's great. But um, I did put it on there, and, and we've talked about putting it on there for y'all just to practice some of the skills. Because what it does is when you get on there, you and all of your you know siblings and friends and cousins and stuff can get on here and practice math skills. So if you click on fourth grade, I'm sorry, not just math skills, I apologize, but math skills, language arts skills, science skills, social studies skills, Spanish skills, all you have to do is go down through here and click on whatever skill it is that you want. So if you want to add fractions with unlike denominators, you can roll over it and see kind of what those look like. Now each day they will, 
and only allow you to do about 10 or so problems per skill. So if it cuts you off, don't freak out. You can go back to the website another, you know, the next day and pick up some other skills or go back to the same skill and practice some more. Go noodle. Y'all always need a brain break. If you end up going through and you get stressed, you get tired of doing the work on some of the websites that we have asking you to do things on, take a Go Noodle break. I personally, I went in and I signed up for Go Noodle. And all you gotta do is just click on some of these fun ones and you know get up and get moving because y'all need some exercise. Another great way to get exercise, I talked to Mr. Groves. He gave me this website. It is Get Active at Home. This is the website he uses for PE. So you kind of got a little insight there. All you gotta do is go down. And as you can see, there are a lot of activities that you can do at home. You can act, do activity, activities like movement made, for, uh, movement made for now complete programs. You can do charade games, paper, rock, scissor games, floor tape games. You could do, you know, all kinds of things. And all you got to do is just explore them. Fitness Uno sounds pretty fun. Uh, Be Happy Beanbag. Some of y'all were just getting into the whole jump ropes things. And these are things that you could do on your own or do with your family at home. If you don't understand any of them, ask your parent to help you pull it up and look through it. Now, this one is called Various Fun Activity Games. Uh, if it's not on yours, I need to probably share it with your, you know, teacher to get it on there. It basically is just distance learning activities from Storyline Online, uh, 100 Reads, another chance to be able to go through and read books. Uh, the Create Area talks about how to draw certain, you know, things, all kinds of neat, really neat things. You can learn to play the piano through virtual piano. You can learn sign language. I know my daughter was asking me if she can learn sign language here in the next couple of weeks. So we're gonna sign, get on here and start learning how to do some sign language. Yeah, um, you can go down here. There's another one of the coding things. Meditation. We all need a little brain break. We all need a break from our families, break from just everything. Go in, get into yoga for kids, cosmic kids, breathe with me and take a little time for yourself. Breathe, it will all be okay. Uh, another area to go do virtual field trips to San Diego Zoo. Go in and check out all the animals there. You could go in and check out the nest cams. They have some of the things for some of the eagles and stuff that are out there that have little eggs in their nest. So you can watch and check out, you know, week by week to see when the eagles have hatched. So down here with travel, these are some games that, I mean, I know when I was about your age, I play these games. Yes, back in the dinosaur age when the computers were a little older, but we played Carbon San Diego and Oregon Trail. So they will look a little outdated, but they are fun. You, those of you who like to do comic strips, there's a comic creator. It'll help you, you know, do it all out. Puzzles, online jigsaw puzzles. I don't, you know, I have a puzzle here at home, but there's only so many times you can put it together. So there's an online jigsaw puzzle for you. All right, so then Kids Pop. Kids Pop is basically just another dance along. You get on and click on it, and it basically is videos for you to go out and listen to. Get up and just dance. You could do this in the mornings to get your exercise. You could do it at night just to get your family up and moving and having some fun. But they're all videos, with, you know, to get you just kind of having have a little bit of movement in your time. For those of you who would like to learn something, you can learn karate. I've done lesson one and two of karate for kids. Mr. Groves gave me this. Just be very safe and make sure that you, you know, are doing it correctly, not hurting anyone, but you can learn karate skills from these videos. Cosmic Kids Yoga. It is another one that you click on. It is a video and it is just, it walks you through just the process of settling down and taking some time to breathe. And it will walk you through meditation skills. Study Island, I partner up with our other fourth grade teachers. Study Island is now a website, almost just like iReady. You click in on Study Island. You go in and it will have pretty much take you straight to the login page. 
I pretty much, um, I went in and what I've done with my study island page is, uh, I, let me show you real quick. Once you lo log into it, ends up that it will take you to your home page. Now, with your home page, it will talk. Study Island is a skill based website. It has skills that you can complete from ELA, math, science, and social studies. So, we ended up, what I've done is I've gone in and I have done a couple of active assignments and asking my students personally to do the math, ELA, and science diagnostic tests. These tests, if you go ahead and take those, it kind of gives you an idea of the skills that you are successful with so far and skills that you may be having some problems with and skills that you really are struggling with. So this helps you to know what you need to work on. Now, once you've done your, your diagnostic tests and stuff, if nothing is in your active assignments, all you have to do is go over here to the left-hand side and click on Tennessee Programs. Now with Tennessee programs, again, stick with Tennessee academic standards because that's what we're working with. And you could go into any subject area. So if I said when it decided to do ELA, I would click on ELA. Now it will show you the diagnostic test. I went ahead and assigned that to my students. So if once they do it, it will, you know, automatically say that they have done it and give them their score. Now underneath here, here are all the skills that we have been working on throughout the year. We may not have exactly said those skills, you know, but they were embedded with what we did with CKLA. What we would like for you to do is go through, say click on a skill like theme. In those skills, you will be given a lesson. Start with the lesson, learn how to do the skill, learn what it's asking, all of those things. Then it has some flashcards. You can practice it. You could totally practice it. There's another pra extra practice way to do it there. And then there's also just a fun game mode. Now, if you're having problems with that skill, you can print off a worksheet. That's fine. Now, let me just tell you that what we're doing is we are looking for you to earn what we call a blue ribbon. The blue ribbon says that you, says that you pass the skill, all right? And then what that does is it also gives you the white ribbon. It says building block topic is passed. Now I'm going to tell you right now, I've done a challenge for my students. I've told my students to at least go on there one time a day and pick a subject or complete the assignments that I've asked for for the week and try to get blue ribbons. And then what I'm gonna do is by the end of May, I'm going to reward, give an award, <laughs> reward, award, to the student or students that have the top blue ribbons of my class. So just letting you know that this is something to be thinking about, but it's also just a great website to go on and practice those fourth grade skills because we know we're not there sitting beside you at the moment to walk you through it, but you know, we would hope that you still continue to learn something new every day. All right, now, from there, we know that y'all love the, the CKLA materials that we were doing, especially the Middle Ages a long time ago. I do have the CKLA websites up on mine, and your teacher should too. Basically, the CKLA website, it does have a username and a password that you will need to get in. But it is, if you go in, like my students, I've already put it in the CKLA Parent COVID-19. So CKLA Parent COVID-19. And it, it basically, it is the same username and password. So, well, it says that and it teaches me wrong there. But, uh, sorry, CKLA, uh, yeah, parent COVID-19. So, you know, once you get in there, go to give it a try, check it out. If you want to continue to do some of the CKLA stuff that we've been doing, you can check out the old units all the way, you can go all the way back to the medieval times. You could go to Treasure Island, the one that we didn't get to. 
you could go in and have a lot of fun just checking out those readers, but also check out the activity books, the activity pages. Go up on the skills, do some writing, because we ask you to continue to write. We want you to build your writing as much as possible. So again, that's gonna ask you for a password. And, you know, I'll make sure that I get that password on there too. So that, that you know, you're able to get in there. Eureka Math. Now, Eureka Math was the website that we, you know, used. This website, you know, the, I'm sorry, not the website, but the uh, materials that we used for math. Now, this Eureka Math website, this is the daily lesson plan, I mean, the lesson website. So what this is, is um, Eureka, basically, if you go in here and you click under grade four, what this is, is this is going to module five. We know fractions was the biggest unit to learn in fourth grade. So they put this on the website and what you can do is you can go in and go through and learn every single one of those lessons again. Get a refresher, go through and you know, check them out because they have videos and things for you to do. Now, if you decide you don't want to do, measure, uh, do module five, you can always click in down here and find any of the other modules and keep learning those math skills. I know some of y'all were asking about them. Go in and check them out. They're all videos. They are all, you know, practice things. You can even go in and print stuff off. Now, we'll give you a heads up. Rumor has it that we may be using wit and wisdom as our reading program next year. So you might even want to go in and check it out and see what it's all about. But there'll be more about that to come when we find out. Amqui Tiger is just letting you know that Amqui now has a YouTube page. If you haven't heard about it already from Ms. Cobb, it is on here on Clever and it will take you straight to the Amqui page. The, every week, people will be uploading videos. Our staff members will be uploading videos. This video is what is uploaded on there. And so it ends up that you can kind of see some skills and some fun things, just to know that our employee teachers and staff are still working while you're at home. Adventure Science Center, we know it's closed right now, but you still can go through and just have a little bit of fun and learning some things from them. They do a lot of labs and stuff that, you know, you could go on and learn about, you know, a balloon lighter experiment, a mini robot bug, you know, just to get you, you know, some fun things to do. We're not making it that you have to do, you know, flat out boring skills every day. So the Adventure Science Center is just another way to go in and have some fun doing science. Now, Ms. McDowell and, and Ms. Eby have decided that they want to get some of their related arts stuff out there. So Ms. McDowell has created a Facebook page. And if you do not have Facebook, you know, maybe your parents might have Facebook or you're, you know, a, older sibling or, you know, somebody you might have Facebook that you're allowed to go on with them, with their permission, and go on and check out the Facebook page. Because if you click on this, just to let, let you know, again, you have to be very careful. You have to log into Facebook. So you will have to have a parent or a guardian or somebody older who has a Facebook account to do this. But she does a lot of art lessons and she has a lot of things that she's showing you that you can do at home with art related activities. She's also encouraging you if you see any of the activities that she does to get to try them out and then post them onto the web page to show everybody else what you've been doing. Miss Evie is doing the same thing on Facebook only with a lot of STEM activities. So a lot of those activities I'll show you up here with things like Science Bob and stuff like that, you can do a lot of those activities and, and post a picture or post a video to Miss Evie's page, showing her some of the fun things that you are doing at home. Now, Miss Evie also is teaching some lessons on her Facebook page. I know the other day she uh, showed how to create a snowflake out of using Legos and stuff. So it's just a lot of fun ways to communicate with our, you know Miss McDowell and Miss Evie. 
Now I talked to Mr. Welch. It ends up that he gave me permission to put waivers on here. He has his username and password. He does not have all of yours yet. He is trying to work with the company to get all of those for you. So once we find out the usernames and passwords for them, we will immediately send them to you because if you just click on it, it's going to pretty much take you to the page. But again, it's going to kind of ask for, you know, for some things. So you might have to go in there if, you know, some, some of them and ask, you know, if it does ask you. But right now it looks to me like we pretty much work. So I'm crossing my fingers that maybe y'all are able to be able to use this, well, you know, particular app correctly. Down here, I've been talking with Miss um, Taylor. She likes the website Freckle. So I ended up, I have two of these on here. So don't fret if you only have one of them on here. This is the one that came pretty much from the Clever website. I went ahead and did one with my exact class code because once you log into it, it's going to ask you for a class code. So I went ahead and put the website on there, but I put my class code website on mine too. So you may have to find out your class code from your, your teacher. Now I went ahead and put my class code on there, but again, it's one of those where once you get on, you pick either ELA or math. So if I pick ELA, it's going to ask you to start a pretest. Yes, you want to start the pretest for both things. Again, what it's gonna go do is it's gonna go through and find out what you're strong with, what you're struggling with, and what you really, pretty much here, just not under, you don't understand or you haven't learned yet. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna put you on a path to learning. And it's gonna put you on a path on your level. So again, if you, you know, your three biggest things that we absolutely ask you to do is go on a Clever, work on either Already, Study Island, or this website Freckle. Because if, if you take an hour or two a day, this is gonna keep you going and learning skills that you will need to be able to go into fifth grade. So please, please, please take these websites and utilize them. I know we have a lot of other fun websites on there, but again, uh, it, please, 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 Study Island, Freckle, or iReady. Now these, again, we've taken the time, a lot of things, y'all been asking what we've been doing, this is what we've been doing. Going through and finding a lot of apps and putting them in one place so you don't have to search the web to, you know, for things to do. Now the last thing I want to show you, because it is very important, I know that uh, all of the fourth grade teachers were really, you know, hustling and bustling when we got out of school, trying to figure out how to communicate with you and your parents. Now a lot of your parents have email addresses and you don't. All right, here's the deal. You have an email address. Yes, I said that right. All of you have an email address. It is the user, the email address that you use to get into Clever and the password that you have for Clever. Down here, you will use Office 365. You will click into it, all right? It will automatically have your email address that you use, your mnpsk12.org email address, and your password, it will automatically have that for this website. You'll click on go to Office 365. Once you are there, it will you make sure that that is definitely your email address and you will push sign in. Okay. Now, the thing about it, I have already kind of practiced this and checked this out to make sure it worked with Anthony's, but it will ask you it first when you get on, it will ask you a question about um, time zone. Please make sure, because it's, it's set to the international date line, make sure that yours is set for central time zone. So you, you'll see a little window and uh, 
it, you'll click on it on the little tab and you'll put, see a scroll down and you need to click on central time zone and push save because that way everything that you get email wise and everything is all in our time zone and our time period right now. Now the cool thing about this is this is where you can do email. Outlook is what Miss Figurita, Miss Gideon, Miss Rogers, Miss Taylor, all of the MNPS staff uses for email. And so when you click in there, you will see a screen pretty much like this. Now I'm going to tell you right now, when you first go in, you're going to have a lot of emails. I mean, this is what the district uses to roll out emails when they're rolling out emails to students and parents. This is what you pretty much will get from the, you know, the director of schools. You will see some things from this battle. You will see some things pretty much from a lot of different, you know, places about network issues if there's problems with that. What, like Anthony right now, he has 234. He's never gotten on to here. He's never known how. So now's the time to start practicing because you will be using this between middle school all the way through high school. So you pretty much want to go in. If you can, I would look at maybe some of the emails, maybe through the last you know, week or so, but you don't have to look through all 234. If you see it, you want to get rid of a bunch of them up here at the top, click on it and say empty focus. If you want to, you know, if you're looking at an email and you want to save a couple of them and you just get rid of a couple of them, go through and only click on the ones that you want to get rid of and then delete. That's fine. So it ends up you have a focused email and you have an other. Sometimes you will get some things from people like surveys and stuff. Some of them you might not have to take. If, you, if they don't apply to you, don't take them. Just go ahead and empty out that area also. And you know, do the it go do it and empty other. Now let me tell you, anytime you delete any emails, it's going to go to your deleted folder, your deleted items folder. And it's gonna stay there until you delete stuff in your deleted items folder. So every once in a while, you might have to either right click and pretty much, you know, put or pretty much go in there and delete. Sorry. Click on it and delete everything that's in there because you may end up with a thousand of those in there, which I've seen some teachers with those. But here's a this is the way, but boys and girls, no joke. You have an email address now. So you can't you can email all of us, any of us teachers. We can email you personally, and not even have to email your you know parents certain things. So this, I encourage you, you can email each other using this. You know, so please, please, please try this out and utilize it. Word program. We've used this in the classroom when we're writing things, blank like document. You have that now. You can pretty much do the same things we do at school, writing up papers, you know, doing a lot of that. It's the same process and you can save it to your computer. So you've got the word, you know, things there. You have even, oops, let me go back, sorry. I got out of that. If you get out of things, all you gotta do is over here in the app where it says app launcher, you can see all the same little apps there. So from Word to PowerPoint, so you can make us some fun PowerPoints and send them to us, you know, over the summer, if you even if you want to. SharePoint, this is, I really wish we had have had all this information earlier because that way it would have made it so much easier when we're working on projects and having to save things and send them to ourselves and stuff like that. SharePoint's gonna be the way that you can pretty much from now on be able to save your stuff on here and we can access it a lot easier. Um, so please, please, please know that again, y'all have a website, have a website that you actually have your own personal email address now to use. So you don't have to go out there making up one anymore. But you know, we would love to, you know, hear, hear from you pretty much even when you're gone. So please email us now that you know how to do this. But again, this is the Clever Portal. There's the Typing Club. Go on, have some fun typing things. Imagine learning. The Quaver stuff is on the main homepage. Coding. Um, Beanstack, boys and girls, 
the library stuff, I know we all like to do Limitless Library, but they're not going to send you any books right now. I mean, everything's on hold with the library. So once you get back up and going, though, even, you know, once the library opens back up, you should be able to go back in and access that. I have a couple of y'all's library books at the school, and, you know, we'll get those returned as soon as it opens back up. But boys and girls, all we're asking you to do is please, please, please go on and, you know, check out this clever website. Please, you know, learn something new every day. Go in and again, study island, freckle, eye ready. A couple hours a day, that's all we're asking. And we can monitor those things to see who's on. And we hope that you learn something new every day and we love you and there's nothing you can do about it. So this is Miss Figurito signing off. And if you need any help with the Clever website, please let me or your teacher know and we will help you in any way possible. Love you. Stay safe.